Hi! For this video, we're going to learn about aromatic hydrocarbons. How do we name aromatic hydrocarbons using the IUPAC rules? Okay, so to get to know aromatic hydrocarbons, these are um, compounds that contain hydrogen and carbon in a cyclic structure that contain what we call a benzene ring. A benzene ring has a chemical formula of C6H6. So that's the foundation of your aromatic compound. And when we say C6H6, we need to come up with that chemical formula if and only if you have three double bonds within that cyclic structure. And so you see that in a benzene ring, those three double bond bonds are alternating in nature. So alternating three double bonds in a six carbon cyclic structure will give you the benzene ring. And so this type of structure and this structure are just equivalent to each other. And so you get what we call a resonance structure or a delocalization of your electrons within that pi bond, if you go to the detail of that. So you see that the benzene ring can be drawn as a hexagon with a circle inside. And the circle will represent the delocalization of the electrons within that pi bond. So what is the IUPAC name of benzene? Now, when we do the cyclic structure of a cycloalkene, we need to consider the numbering and of course when we number we number it this way whether you start from this double bond or this double bond we still get the same number mechanism and so if we get the same number mechanism we will name that with a lower number of each double bond so we get one three five and that will be cyclic so you have cyclo and since since it's six carbon so that's hexa and then there are three double bonds that means triene. So the IUPAC name of benzene is now 135-cyclohexatriene. That is now the name of our benzene. So now let's look at some examples in which we will be able to know some applications of more naming of benzene. So if we have this first compound here, we have 2-bromine. And so you number that one, two. So that means when you name this, it's going to be, sorry, it's going to be one, two. Let me look at the pen first. So it's going to be, um, when we write that, that's going to be one, comma, two, dash, dibromo. And we can just simply use the word benzene. So one, two, dibromo benzene that's a complete name for that so do not anymore use the 135 cyclohexatriene the benzene will do so that's the name for the first compound the second compound is a ch3 which is methyl and then you have benzene ring so you can name that and because it's just one branch no need to number that so that's going to be purely just your methyl benzene and if you know the common name for this is just your toluene so methylbenzene, one branch, no need for number. The third compound is that we have fluorine, fluoro, chlorine, chloro, bromine for bromo. So if you have more than three branches, we consider numbering from where, from based on the alphabet. And then you go to the direction that will give you the lowest number of the branch. So B comes first before C and F. So that means we number from here. And then we proceed to chlorine, not going clockwise we proceed counterclockwise because chlorine is the nearest i mean when we proceed to chlorine it will give us the lowest number for all the branches so that's one two three and because they have different name this will be named one dash bromo and then dash of course the next one is chloro c and then dash three fluoro and then that's gonna be benzene so one bromo, two chloro, three fluorobenzene. That's the name of this particular compound. So this is the name for some examples of benzenes in which we name them. And that's the IUPAC. How about if you have common names? Let me just give you an overview of some common names of the benzene. 
Now, we will just focus on the first three. We have toluene, phenol, and aniline. The rest are also important that you need to learn for other functional groups. But for the sake of this introductory for aromatic hydrocarbons, then we'll focus on toluene, phenol, and aniline. By using common names, we're shortening the name of your benzene or aromatic hydrocarbons. So if I have this example here, CH3 with the benzene ring is known to be your toluene and there's bromo because toluene is a ch3 automatically the ch3 is your number one so if this is your number one then bromine is number two so you will name that two bromo and then that will just be right away named as toluene because the entire thing here is your toluene on the next example we know that this is also a toluene because you see ch3 in a benzene ring while the others are chloro and nitro. So toluene automatically CH3 is one, then we proceed to chlorine, chloro, because that's the one near to the toluene, the CH3. And also alphabetically C comes first before nitro, so three, and then the fourth is your NO2, which is nitro. So we're gonna name this as two chloro, four nitro toluene. And so that's it for aromatic hydrocarbons. Stay tuned for the next video, more upcoming videos about organic compounds and other functional groups and other organic reactions. If you like this video, if it helped you and will help others, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share to this video, Narcademy. This is Madam Narca saying don't stop learning, relearning, and unlearning. Till next time, bye-bye.